we got a PlayStation 3, 80 gigabyte, a GameCube, a PS4 Pro, well, five or six games. What's going on, guys? Uh, I'm going to the uh, Seacon Flea Market. Uh, Stan will be here in about 15 20 minutes meeting up with me. Also, going with Justin from Spooch Retro Gaming. I'm pretty excited. I haven't gone to the flea market in about a month or so. I've had to work pretty much every Saturday and Sunday the last few weeks or a month and a half or so. So um, I'm really excited. I drove by the field where the flea market sets up, and I do see a bunch of vendors, so I'm pretty excited about that. I was debating going whether here or going to Plainfield Pike, uh, but me personally, Plainfield Pike this year has been pretty dead. This just hasn't been a lot of vendors, so I decided to switch it up a little bit. As you see, it is still dark out. It's about 6.15 right now, and it doesn't really get sunny until about 7, 7.30 around here. So uh, I do apologize. It's kind of hard to see the first couple minutes we start filming, but hopefully it gets better. So if you anything cool, I'll uh, show you back at the house. And if I don't, uh, you won't see this part of the video. So I'll see you then. Cool. Fine for 15. That is such a weird number. Uh, Terrible. Uh, I know you collect Xbox stuff, right? <laughs> Uh, I collect everything, <laughs> so I'll come back around. This will be here when I come back. Yeah. Earth defense. Oh my god! Oh my god! I might get this dance. A Xbox exclusive. Depends on what he wants. Oh, we got fear. Earth defense force. The fear games are good. Yeah. I mean, fear. So how much are your games? Uh, ten bucks a piece. Oh, okay. If you buy more than one, I'll hook you up with a deal. How much is your systems? 50 bucks a system. Except for the PlayStation 4. How much is the PS4? PS4 I do for 75. You have all the wires? They could be here. You'd have to just come back here. There's PlayStation 3 back here. There's PlayStation 2. There's GameCube. And the, uh, there's uh, yeah. a lot more. You, you looking through that? You have a GameCube too? How much, uh, is the, how much is the GameCube? I do 75 on the GameCube. 75, not all right. 50 on that one. Yeah, if you... 50, I'll do it. All right. Yeah. Let's uh, let's take a look. My take a look at the box with the, with yeah, the system. All right. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. I'll hold on. To all right. Cool. Right over there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I understand. I totally understand. That's why I only put a few game systems. On. Oh yeah. This all come out of storage yesterday. Yeah. Okay. How, well, much How much for this PlayStation right here? What's that? How much for this PlayStation? I do seventy five bucks for that one. All right. Like oh, it's, said, oh, it's broken. It has a broken been, door. All right. So uh, you make see. me an offer. You all right. Know. Cool. Thanks, man. I'm just here to push it. Yep. You know, it just came out of storage units yesterday. So this is three new units last week. Have you tested this one at all? At all? No, I don't test nothing. Gotcha. Just bring it yeah. here. All right. Cool. It was packed just like that. Yep. In the storage unit. All right. All the game systems. So. All right. They they probably wouldn't keep them if they didn't. All right, cool. Fear, Fear Two. I'm gonna get Earth Defense. I'm gonna get GameCube, PS4 Pro, PS3. Stan, what else are you gonna get over there? Anything else? Got this controller. Anything good over there? You see nothing? Cool. I'm gonna wait for that gentleman. You might have the N64. He was letting me know. He said so. Alright, so we got right, cool. PlayStation 3, 80 gigabyte, a GameCube, a PS4 Pro, or well, five or six games uh, for hundred bucks. Come to I'm really happy. hundred bucks is a good deal. So yeah. this is definitely worth getting here at six in the morning. No, no so wires, but well, has, well, the the wires for the PS4 and the PS3 are, are extremely. There's an HDMI cable yeah, and a simple power easy. cable. The GameCube, I have extra wires okay. and I have extra and I have an extra power cord, okay, so that's I have, fine. I believe I have wires for it in my car so, at the moment. Actually, I just really hope that PS3 works. <laughs> that's yeah. one thing. So Same cool. I the other guy, dude, he fucking got that the Capcom versus N N SNK game or whatever. Yeah, you got. Did, did he say how much he got it for? No, but I think they think I was selling the game for ten bucks a piece. So he got it for a steal. But Jeez. pretty good, happy, you know, pretty happy with this. So hopefully get more deals. That's a flea market. Stan, they have a blue Wii here. Yep, I got all the hookups. How much you asking for it? Seventy-five. Seventy-five. With you know five or six yep. games off Cool. Oh, oh they got this Three box. Five. No yeah, mercy. No, no manual. Uh, How much though for the game in the box? I paid fifty five. I lost the manual. I'll do forty bucks. Forty bucks. All right. Card alone. You know, yeah. So you get the box uh, free. Johnson probably. Yeah, but we bought the uh, the thing for you. I got that Commodore sixty four off of you. Did you get it going? I you needed a. There was another thing it needed. Yeah. So I haven't set it up yet, honestly. 
Oh, whatever. It uses coaxial. Yeah. What do they have over there? Uh, just dog games? It up, but a buddy of mine, yeah, he has a... Um, it's just more cool to put on the shelf yeah, for the box. I like so. it on the shelf. Uh, one, of my, one of my buddies has a candy. Yep. Oh, uh, those are nice. Yeah. What'd you get? Oh, this is cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're cool, yeah. This might be a bird. Yeah, because yeah, they usually came in the, uh, like the little, uh... This game is so cool. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's a real, it's like God of War. Yeah, yeah. Alright, what's going on, guys? Uh, we're going to go to GameStop. Let's push it up a little bit. Uh, GameStop right now, or at, last week they were on this really good promotion. What was it? You yeah, checked it out. They had reduced games. It was like majority of their games are half off, um, all the way up to like 70% off. Okay. Um, they had a $5 bin. So they had some, some decent games. I did get a couple PS5 games that they even had in there, which I wasn't expecting. Yep. So I'm going to check out this other one, see what they have here. Yeah, like I said, sometimes GameStop can be uh, pretty good with those deals. Uh, with the used games, not the new games, but the yeah. used games. So they, they did have those. Um, what was it like four for ten? They used to have. Yeah, too. four for yeah. So that's a good that deal. A, yeah, that's it just a good beefs deal. up the collection. Like, you don't get anything crazy. Yeah, honestly, but, it's, but you know, whatever you're missing, ten exactly. bucks, four games. It's a good deal. So uh, if we get, if we, we're gonna try our best to film in there. Cause sometimes, especially if, if you're the only two people in there, then I kind of bust your balls about it. But uh, if we get anything good, uh, we'll see if we can go back to the house. Man, Sam, what do you think about this game storage thing? Thirteen bucks. Dude, that's not bad actually. How many games does it hold? Is it say on there? Twenty. Looks like about twenty. I gotta count. Uh, one, two, three, I don't know. Probably like twenty. It doesn't. Why doesn't it say? Yeah, I don't know. So, all right, cool. Yeah, maybe I got this. Check it out. All right, let's go. That. I played that game. Just die already? It's pretty fun. Crazy ragdoll though. I feel like there's a goofy game you get for like two dollars on the PlayStation Store. They're always fun. Like aftermath. Look, they get a stack of PS5 ones right here too. For clearance? Mm -hmm. How much are these bad boys? 20 bucks. <laughs> a real farm? I would want to be a farmer. It's um, it's half off of what it says. Oh, oh yeah. really? Yeah. Oh shit, I should pay attention, all right. What is this? You just gonna rotate the whole time, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Good game. Good game. Gotta test that out. Oh, these all like, they got uh, in VR. These are what? Oh, ten dollars for this? Alright, I might grab that. Let's get the new just dance. Alright. We'll see what we get. Everything's half off, so I was going on guys, a uh, really, really successful week of the flea market this week. Uh, we got a really, really good deal on some consoles as you saw. So we haven't gone to the flea market about a month. We're really busy with work, has some life stuff going on, so I couldn't you know, squeeze that in. So no. uh, we went to Seekonk, uh, went with uh, Justin from Spruce Retro Gaming, and obviously Stan met up with us. Uh, Mark couldn't go, Mark's been in Puerto Rico the last few week, week or so, so he couldn't join us, but yeah. um, really, really happy. So literally the first vendor that we walked up to had, he was just unloading a bunch of stuff. And, um, yeah, he had like everything. Too. Yeah, he had everything. everything. He's taking it from a storage unit, so I don't really know how we get all this stuff. But uh, I showed you with the game. So he initially mentioned they were ten dollars a piece for the games, and then he said that uh, he would work with you if you got some, got more than one. You know, ten dollars a game for me a little bit too pricey, especially at a flea market. Yeah. You run the risk of it not working, you know, or scratched up. But uh, quickly, I got Fear Three, like a fifteen dollar game. Got Earth Defense Force 2017 for the 360. It's like a $15 game. I got Fear 2 with this really, really cool slip cover, which does not want to come out, but cool slip cover. Uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, $15 game. And then this is probably the favorite game I got, which was True Crime New York. This is the collector's edition. Has the steel book, has the uh, clear slip cover, and also in here, I didn't realize this until the other day. Has a collection edition DVD oh, or CD in there. Okay. Yeah, it's a DVD actually, bonus DVD. So I got all the games. I think for twenty five bucks, five dollars a piece. He hooked it up, and then obviously, as you saw in the video, the big hook up stand. Yep. What you got? So we're able to scoop up a PlayStation Four Pro, Pro, and a GameCube Black with controller. You got a PlayStation PS3. Three. I uh, you know. 
This is the 80 gigabyte backwards compatible one. So this is about 250 bucks. The PlayStation 4 Pro is like $300. Even GameStop would have gave us, what, $200? Yeah, they said like 200 and something. And the GameCube, you know, games was like 50, 60 bucks in the controller. Yeah. So, um, and, oh, can mention this too. Yep. We've got a PlayStation 3. Never seen this controller. It's probably the whole rebrand. Actually, this actually is for the PS4. So it actually might go to okay. the icon console. But uh, I had this. We got all this for a hundred bucks. Yep, but all those of those in really, the games. Really hundred dollars. Yeah. So, yeah, right. Fantastic deal. Where do you see a PlayStation Four, GameCube, or a PS3 backwards compatible? You know, twenty five a piece. Especially, especially the Pro. Like, that's amazing. I do kind of feel bad because the guy was. Um, he was overwhelmed. Yeah. To say the least, the guy. We we caught him at a time where everybody was just asking him questions. It wasn't it wasn't done on purpose or anything, but. There was so many people talking to him at once yeah. that we just kind of threw out a price. He said he would take it. I don't even yeah. know if he realized yeah. what he was giving up for the price. Right. But so like people might think, oh, a hundred dollars, and he robbed a guy. You're like, yes, but that's if, if everything worked, right? So yeah. If you look at the PS3, he, he could not guarantee anything. Worked. Didn't test nothing. Didn't right? have didn't have the wires for anything. Right. Exactly. So. Yo, so like the GameCube had no wires, but luckily yep. we have an extra set. PlayStation Four. The, the no PS3, wires, it was missing the. Um, the card reader cover and a lot of these always overheat and then show them on the back of the ps4 pro there's a little bump yeah, in the back so of it there's a it looks like somebody dropped it and there's taken apart this one has been so taken yeah apart it's too. definitely been taken apart it's missing the bottom pieces right so, so. You, you, so you had a flea mark obviously you run that risk of not getting something that doesn't work i don't think they yeah. understand that sometimes i see some people so say it's like yeah we could have spent you know a right, hundred dollars yeah. on the playstation right brought it back and it didn't even work not like ebay where you're guaranteed it to work and you can get your money back so that's that's why a hundred dollars i felt like was a good deal for yeah. me and really it was really no work for him you know the test or anything he didn't click like these are covered in dust we had a yeah bag of, everything was super dirty a whole um it, can of, of spray yeah. basically just yeah, i mean it none of it like it didn't stand out to us like oh this is gonna work right no. like we just kind of told you hey if we if it's needed for parts or something exactly. but so yeah that was a really good deal i'm really happy with that and then that night we went to gamestop and stand that i don't say you didn't bring those games you got a couple weeks ago did you no no but the same the deal no. you got a few weeks ago but i had um i had gone to gamestop probably about two weeks ago um, and checked out. They had some some deal going on with discounted games. They had an entire shelf of just all these different games that were that were half off. Um, they're not like crazy big name games or anything. But, PS5 games though. Yeah, but some PS5 games are in here. They had a lot of PS4. They had some Switch games. So, like, um, what well, this is Chris Tales. It's it's sealed and everything too. So it's a brand new game. Um, the Forgotten City. 1971 project helios like another one sealed game another sealed hotel transylvania nothing nothing crazy but and still what, brand road new 96? And, then, and then road 96 uh, another ps5 game so it was good good prices too i mean the most expensive one here i think was 15 bucks even my game which is um which is foreclosed yeah foreclosed it says um 20 bucks but all the clearance games were half off clearance prices 10 bucks and i got that game shelf yep which in the video i said it was 12.99 and i didn't realize until i got to the car that they actually charged me full price it was 19.99 i wasn't about to walk inside and complain about seven dollars but yeah that would have been nice to have a total but, what, but it holds uh 25 24 games? games 24 games so you can't see it on camera right now but i have it positioned underneath my uh playstation 5 danny's taking my mini fridge so i'm gonna hang it on the wall Okay. So nice because we we always play the PS5 a lot, and you know, I always put I put my PS5 games over there, so kind of gotta walk back and forth. All my PS5 games over there, and the four or five PS4 games I play the most, I keep them over there, it's just more convenient. Yeah. So I spent like twenty five bucks. You spent like what forty bucks? Yeah, and then I spent forty bucks. Yeah. And then we didn't we didn't get that much footage of it. I'm gonna look through the uh, look through the phone, but. It's probably the next video, but I'm gonna just throw it in now because I don't think we got any footage for it. Yeah, nothing crazy. Yeah, it's kind of hard to um, to film in a game store. We went the time capsule. Yep. It's hard for two reasons. First of all, we're the only people in there, and the yeah. employees like staring at us. And second of all, it has the music in the background. Yeah, it's a copyright. We, we were also in and out too. Yeah, we, we didn't, we didn't minutes, spend yeah. much time there. So if that is any footage, it'll be in the next video. Um, but I got Surgical Strike for the Sega CD. This was 15 bucks. Um, the case. 
is a little beat like the typical Sega CD thing and Sega Saturn thing where the hinges are broken, but for $15, this is goes sells on eBay consistently for about 30 bucks. So I was really happy I got this for half yeah, off. It's also not cracked or anything. No, I mean, there's no that's cracks more of in the case. That's the major case, yeah. thing is that for those games, you see it's just completely shattered. Yeah, it's not shattered. It's just. Or the they don't even have the cover, you know? It doesn't have the styrofoam and, and, the, and the little pad on there, but the game's in fantastic shape. So I'm excited to beef up my Sega CD collection. I think I'm up to like 10 games now. Well, I'm pretty okay. happy, and you got it really good. And then I grabbed uh, Dying Light 2 for PlayStation 5. This didn't come out too, too long ago. Well, um, last year, right? Yeah, like maybe even less than a year ago why at this is, point. Why is it so cheap? I don't know. Well, when we went to GameStop, I wanted to grab it then, but it was, I believe it was 40 or 45 $41, yeah. $40. So somewhere around there. And at Time Capsule, they had it for 20 bucks. Good deal. So I thought that was a fantastic deal. Especially, I was I was happy I didn't grab it at GameStop for over forty, so yeah, pretty happy about that. So we're filming this. This is a week after we got all this stuff. We got this stuff last week at the flea market. Yep. We didn't go to the flea market this morning because we were both out late last night, so I wasn't going to make it. And it's like thirty three degrees outside. Yeah, it was pretty cold. So next week, if we do go to the flea market and we get anything, we'll obviously put that footage in the video. But um, I have a bunch of stuff I want to trade in the time capsule. Um, what there today? I didn't see anything that caught my eye really that I wanted. Nothing that was too crazy. No, but I have a original Game Boy. I have Pokemon Gold, a couple of Mario games, and um, another. Oh, Legend of Zelda for the Super Nintendo. Yep. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe I can get like sixty to hundred bucks at a store credit trade, and I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll, I'll probably do that maybe for like a video when it's the slow season. Yeah. Or something that catches my eye there. Or console. They had a bunch big, of stuff. But they, had, they had a lot of stuff, but most of it we already had. They already had, so. and it was kind of overpriced. But uh, yeah, this is definitely the most successful flea market they've had in a long time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, we got another video on the flea market stuff. It's winding down. And I think November, middle of November, I think, is the last week for the flea market. And today is what, the 30th of October? Yeah. Yeah, so we have like two more weeks and then hopefully during the winter time we'll go to random yeah maybe do something else I'm not whatever really sure. indoor ones we can find during that time probably yeah. game stores more often yeah we'll try check out house of cards and stuff like that so yep. well like i would say guys thanks for watching um please like and subscribe and uh, please leave a comment in the video if you liked any games or have any games you played and really helps out boost the views on the channel so see you next time guys thank you